In this training video, we're going to look at the use of custom fields within Microsoft Project. So, for example, in this particular project, we can see who the resources are and who's, uh, who's working on each, each of the tasks. We can see what the task is. But what we don't really know is who has ownership of each task. So who is responsible if a task needs to be done or someone needs to be asked to uh, work overtime, for example, or if there's sickness and somebody needs to replace one resource with another resource. So we're looking here at task ownership in the use of what's called custom fields within Microsoft Project. So we're going to we're going to assign somebody to each of these tasks who are the in effect the owners of the task and have responsibility for the task. So under the format tab we have an area called custom fields. Now there are some other tabs you can use so the project tab also has it so either one works. I'm going to stick under the project tab and I'll also use custom fields under this one. So here we go. Now what I can do, I can now use multiple fields. There's tasks, there's text field, there's flag fields, duration, date, cost. The better you get at project, the more you get to see what these kind of fields can do. Well, we in this example are going to leave it on text. Now we want it in this example not to be a formula as it wants to do by default. We want to use it as a lookup. So before we do that, we're going to rename it. So we're going to give it a name and we'll call it accountability. Okay, there it is. And if you look, each of these types of fields, you have so many numbers of them. So text goes down to... We've got 30 of them all together. So you have got quite a few choices, but if you use these a lot, they do start running out. So that's the that's the way of working this. Some of them you might want to replace, you might want to delete one or two custom fields and reset it. But there's 30 all together. So with this one, we're going to use a lookup. We're going to click the message to say OK to that and press lookup again. But we can now start typing in who the accountable people are in this example. So we're going to put engineering manager. And the second one is going to be HR manager. So both of these people have to, happen to be responsible for their own tasks. And we can then put accountability for a task to one of these two roles, either the engineer manager or the HR manager. So you, if you were creating a big lookup, you can keep going and going and going, and you can even write a description of what, what their lookup's all about. So you can't put extra text in. We'll leave it as is, and we'll just now click. You can see there's no OK button. We're now just going to click Close. OK again. Now we know we've got accountability against the lookup. Now, what we might want to do is down the bottom, by default, it wants to go to what's called a graphical indicator. So you can set graphical indicators. In the past, this there has been graphical indicators used on this particular project. So there's some it remembers it. Well, I'm going to cancel that. I don't want graphical indicators here. I want the lookup to be used against data so I can see the data for the engineer manager and the HR manager. So there's a couple of things you've got to think of when you're using these custom fields, whether you're using a lookup, formula, whether you're showing the data itself or you're using graphical indicators. In this case, it's data and I'm going to click OK. So now I might say after the predecessor, column, I want to know who is accountable for each of these tasks. So I'm going to click on resource name column. I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert, insert column. Now in this example, I want to insert the accountability. Well, here it is. It's text one accountability. And I click on it. 
now I've got the choice of accountability. So I could say, well, who is in charge of the overall project? Well, this project happens to be about a, re a project for recruiting engineers. So I'm going to say the engineer manager is responsible for the whole project. Now, what I could do now is against each of the tasks, I could go down and assign accountability. So design job spec, I'm going to say the engineer manager. HR handover, I'm going to say the, the HR manager. Now, I could copy the HR manager then a couple of times. So enough all advertising and send out job packs is all to do with the HR manager. So I'm going to pull it down to send out job packs. Closing date. Job shortlisting. I'll say the, the HR manager is still responsible. So we've got lots of them. So this is the way you can approve accountability through a custom field in Microsoft Project. So this is an example of a lookup field. Now custom fields can be used for calculations, date calculations, if calculations can be very, very useful within Microsoft Project. But this completes in this example, the use of a lookup custom field in Microsoft Project and insert in a custom field. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.